Okay, this is just a real quick video on how to use, how to make texturized uh, backgrounds. You need this a lot in web design. You're oftentimes doing, um, you know, things up here like you want to have texture on that. Um, that's just me playing around. I'm not keeping that. But I had this figured out one time and then I forgot how to do it and it was, I, I've spent a lot of time trying to refigure it out. So, I want to make this video so I can remember and y'all can um, remember how to do it. This is what we're ultimately trying to get to and um, I'm just going to start fresh. We went File New and um, the presets are web because I'm going to use this on web design and I just went 64480 because that's the lowest one and I'm just doing this for a video. So um, Alt over here on the right, Alt click that and it'll allow you to um, manipulate it. Now down here I've got um, blue and white but you can use any color and I'm using this filter right here which is foreground to background but you can use any of these filters. Okay, and now let's see, I'm looking for my gradient tool and I'm estimating the center to be, well you can do this, if you want to find the exact center, you can do this. Um, if you go to your move tool and you select the layer that you want to look on and you're on, uh, if you click this show transfer control up here in the right hand bot, um, upper right hand thing it'll show you and then you can drag these out to the center point so you know where your center is if you need your center but some, and you can't just eye it um, alright so over here on the left hand side gradient tool click on the edge hold down the shift and drag 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 and hit enter and it'll put your gradient on there then you can do uh, control semicolon to hide your um, markers. Uh, they're called something guides. They're called guides and you can also go down here and do clear guides do it there too. So alright so now I've got that. Convert it to a smart object. Right click it and just hit convert to smart object. That's the easiest way to do that. And the reason why you want to do that is because you want to do a filter, distort, wave. These are my settings for this size. So I've got a number of generators at 1099. I've got the wavelength 13 to 17. I've got the amplitude 1 to 6. I've got the scale 100. Uh, horizontal is at 1. You probably do 0. Oh, 0 is not a valid value. Okay, and then the vertical is at 100%. And the type is a triangle. And this is what you get. This is fabulous because you can change it all different colors. Um, so you can go into your smart guide here and change that if you want to make it a different color. Um, let me duplicate this. Not smart guide, smart object is what that's called. Okay, let's say I want to change this. And I'm going to put this here. Add a red by double clicking it. Uh, hit OK. Probably add. Orange, okay. And I'm gonna move that down a little bit because I want my blue to come in a little bit more. And actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna do this as a red, and then I'll do the last one as an orange. So I'm gonna do this as a red, and then I'm gonna do this as the orange. Okay. Then hit OK. And then I want to get my gradient tool, um, control, and the semicolon will bring your gradient, um, your guides back up. 
that you had. Okay, now you're in the smart object and you've added a new layer. See how that works? So you can do some really cool stuff. And then um, then you've got your your textured and you can just make it a uh, background. Um, you can just make it a defined pattern. Wait a minute, I'm sorry y'all, I clicked the wrong thing. If you do edit, define pattern. Okay, and let's say I'm looking at it, I really don't like that blue, I really like that blue to be a white, so then I can go back in here. This is the beauty of smart, smart objects. Um, and you can change that. Just double click up here on the left hand side in the toolbar. I'm going to select the gray and I'm going to make that a white. Hit OK. Hit OK. Close that. I'm going back in. Oops, I'm sorry, y'all. Let's try that again. I made it, but I didn't drag it. Hang on one minute. So you go to control semicolon to bring up your lines again. And then um, just drag down and it'll put the new filter there. See? Isn't that awesome? And then, okay, so now I've got a texture that I kind of like and I'm going to save this as one of my patterns. So go to Edit, Define Pattern and now it will be a pattern for me. Um, but I want to go over these settings again. I'm using the wave filter and these are the settings I used. I put it for maximum and then I cranked these down a little bit. But you can play around with it. I did wrap around edges and I did triangle but I'm telling you I didn't take note of it the first time I figured it out and it took me a while to figure it out again. So um, so when I go out and do my page design and I need a header, all I have to do now is um, Alt-click that and then right-click here, uh, New Layer, hit OK, and this is going to be my header. And all I have to do here is um, marquee that out and D will make this black and white and Alt Backspace will fill your selection um, with whatever's here and Control Backspace will fill your selection with the, whatever's, whatever's behind there. Okay, so then I can do Control D. I want to make this a smart object. You, you, you want to work with smart objects because they hold the uh, original file and it allows you to go in and edit your filter. Okay, so now that I've got that pattern defined, watch this. I'm going to pattern overlay and it's probably my last one. Let me just double check down here. There it is. See? See how that works? Isn't that cool? Okay, so if you have any questions, feel free to um, comment in the remarks below. I'll be glad to answer as many as I can. And thanks. Y'all have a good day. Bye-bye. Double click here. You've got to fill this with a color in order for your pattern to show up. Um, and then once you've got your pattern up, you can scale it. And you can also um, move it around. And I want to get something that has a lot of color in it. So maybe something like this. Okay, hit OK. And this only serves, this color here only serves as something for that to stick to. Okay, so now I've got that. Now, let me show you the magic. We're going to convert this to a smart object. And it simplifies the layer, too. That's another reason for doing smart objects. Do smart objects. You'll uh, thank yourself later for it because it saves the original data without, you don't lose it. Um, okay, so we're going down to distort and we're going down to wave. 
and we're going to hit OK. See there in that cool? Now you can manipulate that because that might be a little bit too near. You might not want it that that you might want it like uh, something like this. See, you can change it around. So isn't that cool? Lots of cool stuff you can do. But always use smart filters. Always play around with it. There's no wrong thing. Um, define pattern. OK. Now, turn this layer off. Uh, hit D here so this goes to default. Hit your marquee here on the left and drag it out. And then Alt Backspace will fill that area with black. Oops, sorry, I got to do a new layer. Okay. Um, that just gives you something to stick to. Now I'm going to fill this with my pattern. That I just defined, which would probably be my last pattern. Pattern overlay. Click here and roll down to the last one. Hit OK. Isn't that cool?